Thank you viewers of AT Television. Once again, I'm Dr. Fonzibe Kenneth. I welcome you uh, again in this program for Heret, uh, which we give you every other time, especially to help the youth to stay uh, healthy and uh, productive for this country. Today, we are, as we, I told you last time, that we are going to bring you a very common but uh, very sensitive topic. I'm going to talk about uh, HIV AIDS. HIV is very common in, in every part of the world and it is, a pan, it, it is actually a pandemic. Uh, it is endemic actually, it has lived with us. It is an endemic condition that has lived with us over years. In Uganda, per se, uh, we first uh, got it in 1882 in uh, uh, Lakai district and in the world it was first discovered in homosexuals uh, in 18. 1981, that is in the US, and therefore I recommend uh, uh, homosexuals, uh, people to, to, to doing, uh, uh, take care of, especially our youth, to avoid the homosexuality because it is uh, beginning to, to, to come around in Africa and it is going to cause a lot of more spread of HIV. HIV is a human immunodeficiency virus. That is, uh, that is a virus that causes uh, uh, HIV and uh, infection and uh, it can progress to AIDS. Those are two different things, viewers. HIV is an infection to your body, but uh, AIDS, what we call acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, it's a, a syndrome or a synchronized uh, form of diseases that come and affect the person who has uh, gotten uh, immune deficiency or reduction in the, in the immunity system of your body. So when you get infected with HIV uh, it, and you don't get treated, then you can get other infections coming to prey on your body, on your immune system like TB, like uh, 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 chronic diarrhea, like uh, uh, candidiasis, and the other diseases, uh, cryptococcus, and the other diseases can come and then cause you what we call AIDS. AIDS, it has a lot, so it's a syndrome, it's associated with wasting syndrome, again, which is a subtopic where somebody gets wasted and becomes slim, like, uh, and loses a lot of uh, muscles and the uh, has no has persistent diarrhea, has no appetite, and uh, and these people can even get uh, other conditions like lymphomas or or what we call cancers, which are associated with HIV and other complicated uh, complications of HIV. I want to talk about uh, uh, that. Uh, I want to tell the the viewers of a television that we have two types of HIV. We have type one and type two. And in East Africa, wise, where we are in Uganda, we have uh, 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 HIV, which is uh, mostly type 1, but type 2 is also in, among a uh, few individuals. And therefore, especially in West Africa, it is more of type 2, and it is common in, uh, in those countries of the East, of the West Africa and South Africa, uh, with Uganda. And the East Africa at large, we have more of type 1. Type 1 is more virulent, it spreads very fast, it has more symptoms than type 2. So they have advantage, those who have type 2 over those who have type 1. Uh, viewers of AT Television, once again, I want to tell you that um, uh, we are doing this uh, program from Mars Medical Specialist, uh, which is a specialized hospital opposite Lakeview Resort Hotel in Kianja at Farmhouse and it is a very specialized center where people with even HIV can be tested, confirmed and treated very well and those without can be given a counseling session and they can improve your life. So when you are there and you are in Mbarara you can easily reach us at Mars Medical Specialist and we are on Google 
and YouTube and uh, we shall always uh, be together in these programs. So I want to go to directly to signs and symptoms. How do you know that you have HIV? If you get HIV, for example, do you transmit it? Or do you, can, you, can you get it tested there and then? Or in two days or in one day? I want to tell you that it's no. When you get, transmit, when you get infected with HIV, you might not get uh, immediate positive test, except if you use extraordinary or complex investigations like PCR, you can get the pathogens of HIV in your blood. But the common test we are using, we, use, we do antibody, we get antibody tests, which, is, which we get after serial conversion, especially after three uh, months. So don't rush to go to the uh, hospital to test, and then when you find you have made a mistake and you test and you have negative results, you think you are safe. No, you better start safe, start rape. Uh, that is prophylaxis uh, 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 drugs so that you don't get HIV. Uh, I want to tell you, uh, viewers of uh, AET television, especially the youth, that HIV in, in, in our country is spreading very fast, especially in, Africa, in East Africa, because we have type 1, and especially years between uh, preferences between 3,000 to 5,000, even goes to 5,000, 8,000, especially in Uganda, which is a very big risk factor, and we should be vigilant, especially for those who are reckless about your life. Uh, I want to tell you that uh, youth between 10, 15 to 25 are the most commonly uh, getting the new infection uh, of HIV because they don't seem to be to protect themselves and which is very dangerous for the growing population because in Uganda we have the youngest population in the world. I thank you so much and I want to also uh, go directly to the signs and symptoms which are in, categorized in two groups, uh, type uh, stage 1, stage 2, stage 3 and stage 4. You can start with a, a small fever-like symptom or flu-like symptom and it is HIV. You can get the uh, 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 common cold, you can get the uh, what you call uh, uh, infections, that are flu-like symptoms, you can get the lymphadenopathy in stage one, then you go to stage two, you can get persistent fevers, you can get persistent diarrhea. you can start losing some weight. In stage three, it becomes worse, you lose a lot of weight, you can get the candida infection, especially you get the white patches in your mouth, and you get the oral candidiasis, and you can get a lot of waste, you lose a weight, somebody who has been having like 20, uh, 70 kilograms, you find yourself in 50 kilograms in two months. Please go and check and get treatment if you are HIV positive. And then stage four, you can get extra pulmonary TB, you can get the osophagal candidiasis, you get wounds into your osophagus, you can get HIV wasting syndrome where you lose a lot of weight and you become slim, uh, so small, not like you. Campuses who are being campus size, you know, but you, because you become very small and you lose weight, you can become emaciated and you, can, you, you, you lose it all. So that is HIV wasting syndrome, you can get it in stage 4, and those are some of the things that you check. You are saying you can get happy zusta, you can get uh, a lot of what we call HCP, CIPRIS, associated things, you can start getting H uh, uh, malaria all the time. You are getting uh, respiratory infections all the time. You are getting uh, weak, abdominal pain, and other signs. If you get those, don't hesitate to check for HIV, and it should be checked regularly, three months, six months, one year, especially if you are a couple, the, or you are single, or you are, so you should not, except when you, you check and you have never paid sex, you have been abstaining, staying, there is no need to check for HIV again. Uh, I want to go directly to after signs and symptoms uh, that you can experience to know that you have HIV. I want to go to critical things. Ways of transmission that is through an unprotected sex with an HIV infected person. You can get the blood trans through blood transfusion. You can get it from trauma, PSS, especially in the piercing by needles, piercing by nails. You can get HIV from kissing. Although on a small scale, you can get HIV from sharing uh, 
from breastfeeding, for those who are breastfeeding with HIV and you don't know, you can transmit it to uh, your child. That is what for transmission. And there are people who should know that those methods of uh, transmission are rare and they should not neglect them because when you neglect them or you forget about them, you will eventually have it. And therefore, youth, especially of aid television, I encourage you to use protection, to do regular checkups, to check people before you, 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 you go into sexual intercourse, and to, to abstain sex for those ones who haven't gotten married. If you fail, you can use protection. Condoms are there of different types. And then if you get the problem and you have been uh, in intercourse with somebody whom you don't know the status, you can get paid as a prophylaxis or a preventive measure, then you keep on doing serious checkups to understand whether you have, if you have, it has prevented you from getting uh, uh, HIV. I want to go to uh, directly to how do you um, check. We use different types of checkups. We can do uh, lab checkups where we use the determines as the preferred for menstrual various. If it is positive, those of you uh, who, are, who are viewing, when you check, it should take 15 minutes. Don't allow somebody to check. In five minutes, he has already lied to you that it is negative. Put blood. There is a patient area. There is control area. It first cuts into control. Then it goes into patient. If it really stays in control, both of you are negative for after 15 minutes. If it doesn't, I asked some girl last time who told me as a boyfriend, they checked. HIV status and they were all negative. I told her what was the reason. She didn't know how to read. You should be vigilant nowadays and wait for 15 minutes to read those results before you go into an intercourse because otherwise you will find yourself in the problems when you think that a man was negative or a girl was negative uh, because of the rush. Don't rush, you will get an accident. So uh, after that, if the data mine becomes positive, you should do not to worry because there are other conditions which can make it positive. So you can go to another test called the staff fact confirm or you go to buy line. Those ones can be discussed in the lab, but those are the tests you do to check whether you have HIV. If you don't have and you think you are suspicious, you can repeat after three months of the first checkup. I wanted to go directly to uh, after checking up management. Management depends on the status. If you have HIV, we can start you on uh, ARVs uh, and retroviral drugs. They are all over the country and they are free of charge. You can easily get treated. First line, second line, third line. And uh, if you are pregnant, you can also start treatment because pregnant mothers, if you go, don't get treatment during pregnancy, you can easily infect the child. And that is very important, crucial. Today I want to talk about crucial things. If you get pregnant, must, must check HIV. If it's there, start drugs immediately, and those drugs can help you to prevent infection from transmitting it to your newborn child. Because uh, producing a child with HIV is the worst thing you can do to your child. So avoid that uh, temptation of not get starting treatment if you are uh, HIV positive and you have you are pregnant. Uh, another thing I want to discuss is uh, after starting drugs immediately, there is no more need to wait. You improve very fast, and if you improve, it means you can easily do what you can. You cannot easily transmit. You can live a good life. You can enjoy your life as a youth. You can easily do other things. You can even produce, and your children study until they finish school before you get HIV. You, you, you get uh, you you can even finish school and the, uh, there is no problem so it is important that viewers you should know that the, when you your HIV positive is not the end of the world for the youth don't commit suicide don't uh, continue doing uh, multiple sexual uh, uh, functions because they expose you to a lot of different HIV we didn't discuss about different variants but when it, Variants are different. HIV has very many variants. Like one is also divided into A, B, after A, after M. You can easily get a different, and then they can worsen, uh, worsen your condition. Uh, from getting treatment, I want to tell you that there are very many HIV associated complications, which which are common in the 
people who don't take drugs very well or who don't take drugs at all, or don't, those who don't know that they have it. One is you can develop cancer. There are different types of cancers you can easily get, and the, that is one of them. HIV related lymphomas. You can get wasting syndrome. You lose a lot of weight. It becomes slim. You can even die from HIV. You can easily transmit it to other people because a poorly treated or an untreated HIV is a deadly HIV type. Uh, you can easily run mad to get HIV uh, related psychosis. You can easily get the uh, dermatological conditions like uh, HIV related. Uh, 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 the dermatologies, you can easily get uh, other complications like TB, you can get uh, brain tumors and uh, very many others that you need to avoid. But if you are taking your drugs very well, you cannot easily get these uh, complications from HIV. And if you don't have HIV, you better uh, prevent yourself because it is uh, a disease that you have to live with for the rest of your life. And you need to be prepared to live with it. Very many people live with it. And to a positive note, drugs are very good. They are brought very nice drugs which you take. And you can easily live your life without any problem. Even not anyone knowing that you have the disease. Uh, I want to, 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 to emphasize on a few myths, myths that people are, are, are spreading. One is about circumcision for the youth. If you do circumcision, you don't get HIV. Is it true? No, it's not true. HIV, if you, if you are circumcised, you reduce the chances of getting HIV by 40%. But 60% is waiting for you to get HIV. So stop that miss. It just reduces the chance, but it doesn't prevail. Another miss is if a woman has a lot of vaginal fluids, you cannot get HIV. So no, because in vaginal fluids, it's, there is a lot of HIV. HIV is a blood topic and we shall always talk about it and uh, when you want to follow us you can easily follow us with questions which we shall answer in the later topic or before we start another topic because we shall discuss HIV in pregnancy, HIV in elderly, HIV in children, HIV in psychiatry it is very broad and we shall discuss every other time but I was giving you a preamble of what we shall discuss in the, the success, successive, because HIV complications, we have not tackled each, we have not tackled about side effects of the drugs of HIV, we have not talked about the adherence in HIV, which, are, which we shall talk in subsequent uh, uh, programs related to HIV. If we come to H TB, we shall talk about TB in HIV. If we come to Morocco, we shall talk about it in HIV, so that we keep on exploring it, because it's very, very huge. Uh, viewers of LA AT Television, I thank you so much for viewing us. Keep following us on our YouTube lines. Keep liking us, keep asking us questions. We are here to help you. As you view us, subscribe, like us, follow us, and uh, ask questions in the, in the section of, of chats on questions. And uh, endeavor to come to Mars Medical Specialist. If you are near Mbarara, you can easily come to Mars Medical Specialist which is opposite the view at Kianja and the, it is located at farmhouse in Kianja and you can easily get specialists from there including me uh, talk about HIV to cancel you if you have a problem and you are near Mbarara if you are very far you can easily reach any other uh, health facility that can be of importance to you and it can help you uh, to overcome this uh, especially those who are confused about their status those who have gotten it you can easily come and we discuss, especially youth, come and we discuss, don't die, don't commit suicide. We are not the first one. We live with 1.5 million people in Uganda living with HIV. Some of your parents inclusive and you don't know and they have taught you up to the university. Don't forget that. You might not know but your parent has always been having HIV since and you don't know. So don't ignore her. Uh, don't think that you, when you have HIV, you are dying tomorrow. You can even produce and educate your children, and they reach at the university, and they finish and they establish before you die. HIV does not kill; it kills those ones who don't listen, who don't follow, who don't visit hospitals, who don't listen to doctors, who don't want to be helped. 
I remain Dr. Mbumzibe Kenis, a medical a doctor working at Mass Medical Specialist in Barra City. I love you. I thank you so much. You're watching a TV, empowering you.